It isn't always obvious, but terrestrial ecosystems are dependent on soils. Soils are full of living organisms that many people don't even know exist. From animals down to microbes, they play crucial roles in maintaining soil health across the planet. My research looks to characterize soil communities across Wales. I'm most interested in the biogeography of these organisms and how they respond to changes in their environment. In particular, identifying organisms with important ecosystem functions will allow land managers to better utilize their soil resources. Life in the soil ranges from familiar animals to minute bacteria. There are four common groups of soil organisms. Macrofauna, mesofauna, microfauna, and microbes. Earthworms are the most well-known soil organisms. They are important in nutrient cycling and creating soil structure as they burrow, eating plant matter, or even the soil itself. This allows other organisms access to previously inaccessible nutrients. Other common invertebrates like spiders, wood lice, ants, beetles, and flies spend all or some of their lives in the soil. Along with earthworms, these animals comprise the macrofauna. Their movements can influence the flow of water through soils and create local habitats like termite mounds or anthills. To catch macrofauna, I like to use pitfall traps. In this case, I have some soap and water in a cup which I'm going to bury and catch any macrofauna crawling across the soil surface. However, their smaller, more obscure relatives are some of the most abundant animals in soils. Mesofauna, including mites and columbula, are often 2 millimeters to 80 micrometers in length and can number in the hundreds of thousands per square meter. They consume microfauna and decomposing matter and are eaten by macrofauna. Hive columbula populations in soils have been correlated to plant productivity. Smaller still are the microfauna, 5 to 120 micrometers in size. Nematodes are the most common microfauna and are often stained bright colors for study. There may be millions of nematodes per square meter. Many cycle nutrients from microbes to larger fauna. However, some have important roles in the nitrogen cycle, converting organic nitrogen to ammonium. Others are serious pests of crops, humans, and livestock. Microbes are the majority of life in soils. In a gram of soil, there can be thousands of protists, tens to hundreds of thousands of fungi, and 100 million bacteria. Most microbes are free living, but some form symbiotic relationships with plants. Mycorrhizal fungi and certain bacteria infect roots, giving plants access to otherwise unobtainable nutrients. Relationships between microbes are also important for public health. Some species are pathogens, Many antibiotics come from substances produced through the coevolution of soil microbes. Studying this community requires the extraction and analysis of millions of DNA sequences. The function of soil organisms provide plants and animals above ground with the water, nutrients, and habitat they need to survive. Maintaining healthy soils is crucial to a functioning society, as healthy soils mean productive agriculture and healthy people. Understanding how soil organisms contribute to soil health is still a challenge, but with advancements in DNA analysis and continued interest from the scientific community, progress will come quickly. Music